Hello everyone. Welcome back to another story time with Miss Chima from the Irvington Public Library. As we continue to celebrate Women History Month, today we're going to read about this famous woman, Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks, A Life of Courage. This book is written by Anne Marie Kishel. Do you have courage to fight for what is right? Rosa Parks had courage. She stood for her beliefs. She fought for the rights of black people. Rosa helped change the way blacks were treated in the United States. Rosa was born in 1913. When she was growing up, there were segregation laws. These laws kept black people and white people separated. Only white people could use this soda machine. You see the soda machine here? Can you even believe that? Even bosses were divided. By the time Rosa was an adult, she was tired of segregation. Black people had to sit in the back of the bus. Rosa waited in line for the bus. One night in 1955, Rosa got on a bus in Montgomery, Alabama. She was going home from work. She found a seat and she sat down. Soon the white section of the bus was full. More white people got on the bus. There were no seats for them. The driver told black people in Rosa's row to move. There were no other seats for the black riders. They had to stand. Black people were not allowed to sit in seats in the white section. The other three people in her row moved to the back of the bus. Rosa did not. The driver asked her if she was going to move. Rosa said, no, I am not. The driver called the police. The police officers came and arrested her. The police took Rosa's fingerprints. Police officers took Rosa to the police station. Rosa told the officers that she should not have to move for white people. She asked the officers why they punished black people, why they pushed the black people around. Rosa had courage. She knew she should be calm and not argue with the police. Later, Rosa went to court with her lawyer. A judge told her to pay $14 for breaking the law. People find out what happened to Rosa. They talked about how they could change the way black people were treated. The black community decided to stop riding buses until segregation ended.
blacks had to find new ways to get to work. Few people had cars, many walked road with others or took taxis. It was hard for people to go places without riding buses. But it was important to stand up for their rights. Some white people did not want things to change. They wanted blacks and whites to stay separate. There were business owners who wanted segregation. They continued to serve only white people. Their buses were almost empty. Still, the bus company did not change its rule. Some people who wanted to end segregation lost their jobs. They had a hard time finding a new work. Rosa lost her job. You see what is happening here? I think they are changing it now. Blacks refused to ride buses in Montgomery for 381 days. That's over a year, more than a year. It was clear they would not let people treat them unfairly. Finally, the Supreme Court ended segregation on buses. Rosa's courage helped change how black people were treated. The end. In this book, we have um, some timelines about Rosa's life and some other information. And this book can also be borrowed from the Irvington Public Library and so many other books about women that have made a different difference in our world. Today, everyone can ride on a bus, both black and white, and you can sit anywhere you want. So there's no more segregation in the buses, there's no more segregation in who can buy things from a vendor machine. Everybody can stay anywhere they want, buy from anywhere they want. There's no more segregation. And all because of her courage. So kids, be courageous and stand up for what is right. Don't disobey the law, but stand up for what is right. Thank you for listening and I'm happy you're always here. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.